Hi, I'm Don Lee with Bentley Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to generate plan and profile sheets using Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. Let's begin. So I've already gone ahead and opened my session of Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, and what I'm going to do is begin with a delivered workspace environment that allows you to follow along with me. I'm going to select the workspace titled Training Examples from the dropdown. And when I do so, I can go ahead and select the work set to the right of that, titled Training Imperial. Now that I've got that configured, all of my DJN libraries and necessary CAD standards are now prepared for me to cut those plan and profile sheets. Now let's navigate to our data. I'm going to go ahead and choose Browse, and I'm going to navigate to C, Bentley Training where I've downloaded a Bentley Learn training exercise titled Quick Start for Open Roads Designer Drawing Production. I'm going to go ahead and open this. In here, we've got a series of files. I'm going to go ahead and choose the underscore plan and profile sheets.dgn. This is nothing but a 2D file, no different than plan sheets or any of the other files that we have up here for the purpose of sheet cutting. This is just simply orchestrating and managing all of the necessary references that I want to show for plan and profile sheets. I'm going to go ahead and open this file. So I've gone ahead and opened my file and here we can see I've got a lot of data here. But this is all data that I find meaningful from my plan and profile sheets. Let's lay out our Windows environment. So to go ahead and get started, I'm going to leverage using the right click hold where I get my fly out and I can access a capability included with Open Roads Designer Connect's workspace titled View Control. View Control delivers a bunch of pre-configured viewing layouts and I'm going to choose the two views plan and profile option. When I select this it's going to prompt me to select a dynamic profile view and I'm going to choose OK at which point my mouse prompts me to locate that plan element and I'm going to hover on London Road alignment and data point once. Then it asks me to select or open a view. I'm going to data point in that empty view where I'll be delivered the profile. Once I have that, I want to begin drawing production. Go ahead and choose my workflow selector from the top left. When I do this, we can see the Open Roads drawing production as one of our workflows. I'm going to go ahead and select that. When I do this, it thins down the number of tabs and options that I have available to me, setting focus on solely drawing production. I'm going to go ahead and choose that tab. From this tab, we're going to navigate across to what are called name boundaries. And these are clipping areas that are grouped by a name, thus name boundaries, to identify a, a given area. We're going to leverage those to assemble our plan and profile sheets. Let's go ahead and select the Name Boundary drop-down where we can choose Place Named Boundary. An active dialog appears, at which case we can select a toggle option. I'm going to start with Civil Plan because I'm going to lay out the plan name boundaries first. When I choose this, we're then prompted for a drawing seed. Now the drawing seed is something that can be pre-configured by my CAD administrator or my agency. This allows consistency in the plan development process. I'm going to go ahead for today and choose ANSI D Plan and Profile Plan 20 Scale. And when I do this, my detail scale as well as a lot of the dimensions to establish the sheet layout are already pre-configured for me, making it much easier. I'm going to go ahead and give this name boundary a name. And I'm going to call it London Road Plan. Once I go ahead and accept that and I go on screen, I'm prompted to place a named boundary, Civil Plan. It wants me to identify a path element. This is something that's described in the bottom left of Open Roads Designer. I'm going to go on screen and select the particular alignment in question here, London Road. And when I select that, I can then establish a start and stop location. I'm going to go ahead and leverage the locks on the right hand side of my dialog for the beginning and ending station range. If I don't like the ending station, I can go ahead and adjust that. And I'm going to go ahead and put 99 plus 00 by typing in 9900 and selecting tab on my keyboard. My length, my offsets, my overlaps. 
All of these are predefined by my, my CAD admin. Some items that I might want to consider are things like the boundary cord. So if I zoom in on the screen just for a moment, I want to, I want to show this. If I go ahead and left click once, I get a preview, and I want you to see that the name boundary is actually bending around the curve. Well, in many cases, that could be problematic on some of my sheets, and I may have an agency standard that requires something a little bit more specific, like a radial, where I may set the boundary cord to 1, and here we can see it's actually doing more of a radial cut on my plan view. Continuing on, it's very important to note that I have the Create Drawing disabled. That means I have it unchecked. Otherwise, this is actually going to uh, finish the, the process and cut sheets. So we're going to be doing plan and profile, so very necessary to have those unchecked. At which point I'm going to go on screen and I'm going to accept the placement by left clicking two times to complete this process and lay these name boundaries out. If I were to hover on the name, we can actually see that they're actually titled London Road Plan with a numeric value. So now that we've got our plan group created, we want to go ahead and set focus on our profile group. So let's go ahead once again and choose the name boundary option from atop our ribbon and begin the process of creating our profile group. I'm going to go ahead and select the civil profile option from the toggle across to my active dialog. Once I do that, we can see we have a series of different drawing seeds. I'm going to go ahead and choose the ANSI D Plan and Profile Profile 20 scale. Once I do this, I can give my name boundary a name, and I'm going to call it London Road Proof. If I continue on, we're going to go on screen, and we're prompted in the bottom left of Open Roads Designer to place the name boundary civil profile and identify that profile view. I'm going to go ahead and left click in the window. Now when I do this, we can see that it previews a series of name boundaries that are clipping adjacent to those in the plan view. And that is because we're actually selecting a plan group method. So our method is not station limits, but rather the from plan group. That's very important to note. The plan group in, I'm choosing here, in this case, is London Road. One of the advantages of federating your files allows you to simplify these processes. By putting too many name boundaries in one file, this could become a bit cluttered and we might have too many things to select from, uh, adding some confusion in our sheet clipping process. So something to consider. I'm going to create a new name boundary group and I'm calling it London Road. And for today's example, all of my dimensional settings are correct. Now it's very important to note that you have your used terrains and active vertical checked on, otherwise you won't get existing ground or your proposed profile in my example. And finally, because we're going to choose Create Drawing. When I choose Create Drawing and go on screen, I get a preview of those name boundaries, and I simply left click to accept. Once I do this, I'm prompted to create drawings, something that I already had toggled on. Um, right there at the end, and a lot of this is pre-configured. This comes with my drawing seed. Um, so in many cases, it, it's uh, worth your while to make sure your CAD administration has set these, these items up. It's going to ensure consistency on your projects. All I want to visit is adding to a sheet index, because perhaps I want to use Print Organizer down, down the road. I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and I'm in the process of cutting my sheets. Here we can see it's going ahead and cutting nine sheets, and it's creating both the plan and the profile drawings, and then it's going to reference those to our sheet models. So there we go. Now I want to run through my sheet set here, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the Home tab where I can choose Explore. When I choose Explore, we're introduced to a sheet index dialog. And here, because I toggled the sheet index on, I can navigate through each sheet in my set. I want to thank you for attending, where we showed you how to create plan and profile sheets using Open Roads Designer.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.